Hello my crafty friends and thank you so much for stopping by Crafty Cards with Leslie. I've been asked several times if I could show everybody how I store my stamps and how I catalogue them. So here goes. It's I've tried various I've tried loads of different things, let's be honest. Um, first of all, I just um, had them on shelves when I didn't have very many and, and kept them together, you know, all animals together, all people together. And that worked really well when I only had a few stamps. But I'm a bit of an addict when it comes to stamps. So they started to get out of control. I couldn't see what I had. So then I tried Evernote and that worked out really well, except it's really difficult to compare. So for example, if you have, I'll show, this is my my book that I won't go without. It's just a three ring binder, but it works really well for me. This is, um, I sort of dedicated the last few months to getting this organized, stamped. So um, Evernote doesn't allow you to compare sizes of different things like for the the alphabet size you can't you know you can type in anything that you want and it brings it straight up it's great but if you just type in alphabet you can't see the sizes of the different alphabets um so this is this is my idea of organizing my stamps it might not work for everybody but i just love it and wouldn't go back to anything else so when I get my stamps, I always make sure I stamp them before I actually file them where I, anywhere. Just so I've used them, I know what I have, and it just gives me ideas of different things I can use them for. So for example, these ones actually, the four, I've used them all. I think I've done uh, videos, I think I've made videos for all of them, but I haven't catalogued them or filed them away. So I never put them back on the shelves until they're in here first. So we'll take, for example, this first one. And um, I'll just pop those down there. So it's a fishing one, obviously. But you sort of think beyond fishing. I, um, you know, for example, there's this little person here. Excuse me one minute. This little person here, well, I can see him more going into something else than just fishing. So the fishing part, let's just have a look. I've broken it down into a few different categories here. So I have this one, fish and ocean. So the, um, the fishing rods would go in there. The, um, the fish would go in there. Maybe the can of worms would go in there. The little um, fishing hook. Um, so that could all go in there, the little lure. But then there are other things too. Um, the people. I have a people um, section. I'm addicted to especially the, the close to my heart little people. I, I think I have most of those. And um, so, you know, they would be gone. They would go into the people section. And then I have another one flagged here. Oh, yes, the boat. So I have a travel, oh, it's sort of a, I've named it trucks, cars and trains, but I'll add boats to that too. So that will get stamped into that section too. So I have sections for as many things I could possibly think of. Um, and then of course, I decide what um, number would go next to it. When I see this one, I think I'm going to use this one most mostly for people. So we'll go back to the people section. And so I started off obviously giving every, every um, stamp set a number, but then I started running out of numbers. So then like this one here, she's 48, but she's 48A. So I've got A's, B's, C's and D's, I think in some cases. So I just keep adding on. So the people will go um, probably, maybe I'll make the people 48, um, I'll put that one into 48B, say. Uh, but you sort of get the idea, I think, hopefully, what I've done with this. So um, my, um, I usually do the label makers. I'll show you this one. Where is it? Um, 
yeah, any of those really. Um, so I usually make labels to put on with the numbers like this, but uh, my label maker is not really cooperating at the moment. I got a new iPad and it doesn't seem to, uh, uh, new laptop rather, and it doesn't seem to uh, want to work with it. So that's, that's for another day. So we'll just flip through a few of these sections. Um, yeah, all the animals and um, autumn sections, arrows, baby sections. Um, you get the idea. But the yeah, the the on the um, stamp sets themselves, there's always little hearts or um, stars or little splatters. And to try and go through all of your stamps and look for a certain one, it's kind of difficult to remember which which ones they're in. So I've done a section on splatters and backgrounds. And so that's all sort of together, which I, I refer to this quite often. And then greetings as well. And I sort of try to keep my greetings or birthdays together and um, different things. Um, but hopefully, yeah, flowers, which I have many of, and food. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's certainly, I've tried to break it down into several sections, um, so it, it just helps me find things a lot faster. And I use my stamps a lot more too, if I'm able to do that. So I'm just going to take this down a minute, hopefully it doesn't send you dizzy, and I'll just show you the shelf that I have my uh, stamps on. Oops, here we go. So I'll just back up a little bit. When we um, bought this house 10 years ago, I um, had them take, this is just in a um, spare bedroom, and I had them take the closet out, and then I went to Ikea and got a few little things, little goodies to put in here. So one for my paper, and then of course for my, um, for my uh, stamps. So this works really well for me and the dies, I've just recently put those up there and I just use the magnetic four by six magnetic sheets and stick them to the either the bookcases or the um, the wall. So um, I started off just putting categories up there, but then I certainly ran out of space quite quickly and realized I needed to do something a little bit different. So um, yeah, this works out quite well for me. Um, so when I catalogue something in the book, of course, it has a number on. So then these are all in numerical order and they go right down to the floor. So, um, but it, they're very, very easy to find everything. And as I said, this system really works for me very well. So hopefully it's been helpful to, uh, to everybody and good luck, um, uh, doing it <laughs> if you've got some spare time and uh, hopefully it works for you as well as it has done for me so um, please give me a thumbs up if, if uh, you've liked what I've shown you and um, let me know what you think to this system okay we'll talk to you again soon bye bye